Hi. Happy Sunday. So I bought this one a while ago. Um, and I got it super cheap and on sale, so we're going to play it. We're going to play Outlast. I don't know if there are hanging bodies or not. We'll find out. You love Alice. Oh, but I am not singing that book. Good job, though. Hey, ya. Uh, hey, ya. Uh. Yeah, it's not Alice, it's Outcast. I, I know. But I got what you were. I, 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 I was picking up what you were throwing down. Where'd my game go? Come back. <laughs> no, you're not. But are you for real? Oh boy. <laughs> you're supposed to be impressed that I get these references. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm getting myself into, but let's do this. Uh, we- oh. We don't have an easy option. We only have normal, hard, nightmare, or insane. <laughs> I guess we're playing on normal, cause Coco ain't doing no nightmare or insane. <laughs> you don't remember a whole lot of talking in Outlast. You probably not. Outlast contains intense violence, gore, graphic, sexual content, and strong language. Please enjoy. You are Miles Upshur, an investigative reporter whose ambition is about to earn him an intimate tour of hell on earth. Always willing to risk digging into the stories no other journalist would dare investigate, you will seek out the dark secret at the heart of the Mount Massive Asylum. Stay alive as long as you can, record everything. You are not a fighter, so to navigate the horrors of Mount Massive and expose the truth, your only choices are to run, hide, or die. Run, hide, or die. Yay! Nightmare Torment, Inferno, and you've got to be kidding. Yeah, pretty much. Aren't those difficulty settings in Diablo 3? At least first three are. Alright. Those are difficulty settings in Diablo games. Okay, very good. of asylum. Not the box elder bugs run. Or wait, was this game with I have no idea. There's apparently strong language, so there's at least some talking. I'm sorry, but does this look like the school that we went into in uh, Left Alone? <laughs> You think two was tons? Okay. September 17th, 2013. If you don't know me, you have to make this quick. They might be monitoring. I did two weeks of software consult for Murkoff Psychiatric Systems facilities in Mount Massive. All sorts of NDAs, and I'm very much breaking right now, but seriously, fuck those guys. Terrible things happening there. Don't understand it. Don't believe half the things I saw. Doctors talking about dream therapy going too deep. Finding something that had been waiting for them in the mountain. People are being hurt and Murkoff is making money. It needs to be exposed. <clears throat> well, if we make it through this one, I do have Outlast too. I bought them as a bundle. Seriously, this looks like the entrance to the school in, in Left Alone that we just played. Doesn't it? 
Dex is updated in your reporter's notebook tab, containing your notes and picked up documents. Okay. And of course, the gate's locking behind me. So, tab. Notes. Documents. And that's that. Okay. Oh, those are some cute pictures. Alright, that's how I pick up my camera. Open the door quickly, plus left mouse button to open the door slowly, hold down left mouse button to move forward. Okay. Raise your camcorder, press right mouse button. Alright. Unit recording. Adding a note to your notebook, press N to read it. I started feeling sick just looking at this place. Mouth massive asylum shut down amid scandal and government secrecy in 1971. Reopened by Murkoff Psychiatric Systems in 2009 under the guise of a charitable organization. Cell phone reception cut off abruptly a mile out, more like a jammer than lost sig signal. The Murkoff Corporation has a long track record of dis disguising profit as charity, but never on American soil. Whatever they thought they could get out of this place is, it has to be big. Might finally be the story that breaks the bastards. Okay. So do I walk with this up the whole time? Notes are only added to your notebook when your camcorder is raised to record events. Okay. Yeah, we literally just saw this building in Left Alone. It's the exact same setup. I'm totally being nosy. To crouch, hold down left control. Oh, I'm supposed to go in this way. Alright. Left control. Oh, and we saved. Good job. In quarter active, you can zoom in and out with mouse, scroll up and down. Obviously, wants me to go up the ladder, right? <laughs> All right, normal jumpy controls. Activate the night vision on your camcorder, press F when your camera is raised. Alright. Okay, night vision uses up battery. Looks safe, yeah, yeah, perfectly normal. <sighs> Reminds me of the first part of RE7, a little bit. I'm 
guessing that screaming noise was in game. Gap, okay. Turn off your battery. Your light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's already half done, gone. Shh, it's fine, Puck. Let me figure it out. Oh, look, batteries. Uh, use it for later on your camcorder, you reload by pressing R. Okay. Oh, and there's blood. Okay, we found blood. Okay, in my reporter's notebook. Murkoff Psychiatric Systems Project Wall Writer. Therapy status. Oh, sorry. Patient is Billy, age 19. Patient claims to have progressed to self directed lucid dream states, morphogenic engine activity observed at unprecedented scale, continuing stage 4 hormone schedule. Spire spiometry revealed no bronchial accumulation. Hematocrit centrifuge again failed to separate eth erythrocytes. Hi highly worrisome. MRI revealed arrhythmic REM and REM cycle. Laughter in any REM state. Billy asked about the status of his mother's lawsuit against Murkoff in the asylum. This represents a catastrophic breach of security despite Billy's claims that he discovered the truth in the blood dreams of Dr. Traeger. Note, only Traeger on, on company records. The only Traeger on company records, one Richard Traeger, is an executive for MRD. All orderlies and security personnel must be questioned and video security improved to include analytical bio biometrics. Okay. So Billy knows something he shouldn't. We got bloody footprints. Oh, goody. Um, well, somebody just shut the... Oh, oh okay. Um, what is that? That looks gross. Do you have any notes? Yeah, that gross. Okay, won't well, let me go. Okay, bathroom's locked. That door's locked. All right. So the only way is up in the vent where there's blood dripping down. Okay, sure. Stuff blocking that door. Looks like I need to go this way. <laughs> Sorry, Puck. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Looks dead. That helps. Oh, okay. Hanging body. We have a hanging body. Add it to the list. The variants. 
the variants. You can't fight them. You have to hide. You can't unlock the main doors from security control. Okay. You have to get the fuck out of this terrible place. Okay. Nope, let's go further in. Do I have a map? I'd like a map. Looks like I have to go back over here where the blood is. Little fake. Hi. And who are you then? Death, yep, death. Merciful God, you have sent me an apostle. Guard your life, son. You have a calling. We have a calling? Are we calling to GTFO? Uh, uh, uh. Proclaim the gospel. New objective. Escape the asylum. Access security tools. Unlock the main doors. All right. Warrant for seizure case number blah blah blah. Uh, having been made before the board of directors by Murkoff Hardline Security, who has reason to believe catastrophic security failure of psychiatric center with imminent danger of environment contamination. We are satisfied that the affidavits and testimony establish sufficient evidence to require urgent action on the part of MHS and ground grounds for the issuance of this warrant. You are hereby required to grant MHS full access to all facilities and sur surrender complete authority to its agents. By acceptance of this document, you and any surviving relatives surrender all claims of litigation against the Murkoff Corporation or its subsidiaries for the actions of MHS or the circumstances which require their actions regardless of responsibility. Well, all right. So many bodies. Still like a map. Can I have a map? Wait, those doors are all. Oh, hi, Ari. You return, and thank you for the scare. But I wasn't sure if it was an actual scare or if it was a, a sound alert. Um, in case you haven't figured it out, we've switched games. We are now playing Outlast. Yes. We did! We finished other games. We, we killed our mother, uh, two priests, and our father. And then we just kind of walked out of the house like, da 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 Yeah, yay, done. Yes, we already have a hanging person. We 
fitness. Yeah, this game isn't wasting any time. It is very bloody. Oh, security. Alright, this door needs a key card. Alright, so this is our objective, but we need a key card. What is Outlast? Um, let me pick that up so someone can kill me. Um, it, it's you, your your objective is to hide, run, and not die. So you can't fight back on the monsters. You can't do anything. You just have to not die. Yes. From Helen Grant, uh, Project Wall Rider on-site inspection. Dear sirs, the full report pending no media action is required on the part of Murkoff Corporation. The profit potential of Project Wall Rider remains staggeringly high. The four fatalities contain enough ambiguous data to make any litigation, if evidence is quickly managed, impossible. Project Wall Rider remains a dangerous initiative, and there will be almost certainly... There might... Bleh. There will almost certainly be further casualties. As with others, however, family and government interest in the patients is so low to, as to make, make any chance of legal action vanishingly unlikely. Violence among patients is increasing as the morphogenic engine therapy gets closer to producing working models. But a combination of physical and chemical restraints has proven, proven sufficiently effective to assure continued control and profit. Okay. So our, our objective that we have now is to get into security to unlock the main doors. We found security, but we need a key card. This game is really going to work with the darkness mechanic, yes. Why should we have to pay for this? Why do we have to die? Walker will kill us just for being sick. Watch those people! We didn't choose this! Yeah, I, ha I have a camcorder that I can see in dark, but it uses batteries, so... I see stairs. I'm probably supposed to go down the stairs. You ever had an appearance by Betsy yet either? I mean, we all know how well I do with stealth games, so maybe. Although, if, if Betsy shows up, I'm out. I mean, stealth is it, and I have to hide. Hello, big puddle of blood. Uh, let's see, this is for patient Walker. Uh, he's 32. Morphogenic engine activity plateaued at roughly 2,000 ppm. Unsafe to progress beyond stage 3 hormone schedule. Spy spyometry revealed light to medium bronchial accumulation. MRI scans consistent with patients' reported dreams. Walker's interviewed in restraints following his self-inflicted mutilations. Restraints have been altered, had to be altered to accommodate his enormous size. Extensive dermal eruptions are consistent with failed morphogenic engine cellular activity. He claims the skin ripped from his forehead allows for a truer way of seeing. Seems to have some boyhood experience with Tuatara lizards and their p 
per parietal eyes. He has expe expressed anxiety about his flesh, specifically around his lips and nose. Attending orderlies should be advised to watch for further self-mutilation. The mental trauma he sustained while serving in Af Afghanistan seems to be retarding progression of the ME process. His predominant fixation amplified by therapy is a manic exaggeration of military security protocol. A continuation of both chemical and physical restraints is highly recommended. Wait, we do need a Betsy? Why do we need a Betsy? Is that a door? No, that's just a wall. Press to peak old Q or E. Um, okay, so I can... I can lean. Well, I'm on the other side of the gate, but there's a body in that thing, and I don't know that I like it. Like, do I try to walk closer to it? Are you gonna get up and jump at me? Well, we're gonna do it. I wanna see what happens. Okay, yeah, that that dude was alive. Oh, these dudes are alive. Per the perial eye is an organ found in some reptiles. That is the brain. But for some reason, it sent lights to some degree. Okay. They probably shouldn't be in here with these people. But they don't seem to be harming me yet, so... We're gonna see what happens. The an anatomical analog in mammals is the pineal one. Okay. I'm breathing very heavy. Oh, look, a key card. Alright. So we can take that back to security. Collective objects are updated in your reporter's notebook. Okay. Yes, yes, we are in an asylum right now. So it's a it's an asylum that is uh they kill all the nurses. I think they killed everybody. Like we've got mutated somethings in here, like test subjects of things and I don't know. Oh, I do have to go back through there to get back. All right. So this is just a day at the office for you, right, Ari? Or it was? <laughs> did, did your patients look like that? Ah! Oh, shit! Get them out! Please! The guns are in there! Put them clean! You're on their list! I had a better maintenance and cleaning here. Yeah. They did that too. <laughs> oh, good. So I'm, I'm just pretending I'm in a day at the at the office for Ari. It's fine. It's all good. Now that you look behind you, holding Q or E while running. This game is going to be all about jump scares, isn't it? Yes. Uh huh. I mean, I, I don't blame you for not being in the same room, Puck. It's fine. Oh, I can hide in a locker. Oh, this does sound like alien isolation. <laughs> they lie. Alright. I like how the coffee mug says coffee. Like you had to know what was in it.
Oh, jeez. <laughs> False sense of security. I love it. All right, new objective. All our coffee mugs said, we're all crazy here. It's not a competition. I love it. <laughs> okay, I don't like big scary dude. Oh, there was a left-handed mug that says coffee, too. That's nice. I didn't notice that one. The mugs for the organization you do. YouTube show, show, shows for it says it's always Thursday. A reference to the show on sexuality they do on Thursday nights. Yes. Mm -hmm. I like that mug. All right, we have to go to the basement. And of course it's darker now. It is a good show. I enjoy that show. Oh, there's water in the basement. Yum. MK Ultra Program CIA document Hypnotic Experimentation and Research, February 10th, 1954. On Wednesday, February 10th, 1954, hypnotic experimentation and research work was continued in Building 13 of the Mount Massive Preserve in Colorado using the following subjects. <coughs> A post-hypnotic of the night before pointed finger you will sleep was enacted. Mrs. Jackson and Pierce immediately progressed to a deep hypnotic state with no further suggestion. Miss Pierce was then instructed, having previously expressed a fear of firearms in any fashion, that she would use every method at her disposal to awaken Miss Jackson, now in a deep hypnotic sleep. And failing this, she would pick up a nearby pistol and fire it at Miss Jackson. She was instructed that her rage would be so great that she would not hesitate to kill Jackson for failing to awaken. Ms. Pierce carried out these suggestions to the letter, including firing the unloaded pneumatic pistol gun at Jackson and then proceeding to fall into a deep sleep. After proper suggestions were made, both were awakened and expressed complete amnesia for the entire sequence. Ms. Pierce was again handed the gun, which she refused in an awakened state, to pick up or accept from the operator. She expressed absolute denial that the foregoing sequence had happened. Okay. Yeah, nobody drop a hairdryer in here. To vault for space for our while well, moving towards weight high side objects. <laughs> okay. Who's there? Turn on the two gas pumps and the main breaker to restart the generator. Alright. Oh, more hanging bodies.
15 games now? Um, uh, might be more than that. I think we came up with a couple extra. I'll have to check the list. That sounds about right. Fifteen games of hanging people? Yes. Break the generator. Don't you do it. Just another ghost. Yep, that's me. I'm just a ghost. I'm not really here. Get in there. We're gonna hide in our locker for a minute. I feel like the heartbeat sound is getting stronger, so something's nearby, maybe? CT, how are you? Back around. This way? Is that where I came from? That's where I came from. Or this way. I'm doing good. Oh, not that. Well, this is where I came in from, isn't it? Now I'm all turned around. can hide in? No. Oh, yes, there is. Alright. <laughs> this basement has been way too uneventful so far. I know, right? A little weird. Well, we have to find the other generator, because this is obviously the lever I pull once I get both generators up.
Hello, another hanging person. They're just all over the place in here. That's better. Thanks. So we died. All right. So we're back at the beginning of this, I guess. Oh yeah, because that's how we came down. Okay. Oh, we got a map. I'm gonna guess that the the two generators are in those back rooms because our electric thing is over there. Okay. This game is terrifying. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. It's one of these games, CT, that I had bought when uh, I bought both Outlast games and both Bioshock games, I don't know, last year one day. When they were all on, like, really deep sale. Because I want to try it. We'll see how if I finish it or not. Okay, I don't think he's coming in. Oh, yep, there he is. Nothing to see here, buddy. Move it along. Bioshocks are very good. That's what I've heard. I want to try them. That might be next, after this. I'm slowly making my way through all, all of my backlog of games. There's no putty tat there. <laughs> All right. 
Alright, so I gotta go back and get the other generator. that oh good okay it was just all right these are still all the best still the best uh-huh <laughs> right. dude you need to leave my room Did I already get you with that one? Oh good, it was just sorry. Yep. <laughs> uh. Yep, just another ghost. That's me. Well, I mean, the last game we played didn't really have much of a horror factor, so it kind of makes sense that I, now I'm all of a sudden playing one that does. Just in case our friend comes in here. <laughs> OF, yes, OF. I mean, the, the game came with a, a um, foul language warning, so that means I can say them too, right? <laughs> Officially your favorite clip. As long as it's not in the first two minutes YouTube allows it, that's true. Oh good, it won't be in the first two minutes of my gameplay, so we're fine. <coughs> no putty tat here! No putty tat! I'm not sure why we have Elmer Fudd as our, our creature roaming around, but we do. Alright, so I have to get back to the middle. That's Tweety Bird. Oh, oh, okay. Still a Looney Tunes character, so it counts. But you're right, that is Tweety Bird. Oh, 
Elmer Fudd hunts wabbits. Oh, that's right. Wabbits, not not putty tats. Kill the wabbit. Kill the wabbit. Person. Hi, Sammy. How are you? <laughs> or what did you do? Just post it straight to your Discord? <laughs> I mean, probably. Whatever works. <laughs> you wouldn't do that? Not at all. Yeah, no, not at all. <laughs> Turn to security control and unlock the main doors. Sure. Easy as pie. Except I don't have pie. Security was to the left. Where'd you come from? What are you stabbing me with? Sorry, my son. I didn't want to have to do this to you. I'm not your son. But you can't leave. Not yet. There's so much yet for you to witness. Is he wearing a straight jacket? It's not being very uh, Will you effective. See it? Normal Can place you? needles, your fave move. Our you Lord, must be a patient. The wall rider tearing his truth into the unbelievers. Maybe. The only way out of this place is the truth. Accept the gospel. All doors will open before you. Except the gospel? The gospel of weirdo? So is Creepy Dude a nurse then? Or a doctor? Oh, we're in a padded cell. Good job. You're going with I'm a patient. Okay. I mean, maybe. Rest in peace. Remember, notes can only add a notebook when your camcorder is raised to record events. Okay. 
So we got a note. Father Martin's cell. The priest, Father Martin, brought me here to show me something. Thinks I'm going to be a witness for whatever batshit crazy he's trying to sell me. This Dr. Wernicke is at the center of whatever went wrong here, but he died more than 10 years ago. Rest in peace, says the blood on the wall. Okay, so dude that stabbed us with a needle was a priest. This is crazy. He did not know his enemies. Benny was here. Oh, I can hide under the bed. That's kind of fun. Can I leave? Can you just open my cell door and run away? I don't trust it. Oh, he's been- oh, okay. He's literally banging his head against a wall. Good job. Good job, game. This seems like a pleasant room, right? It's such a happy place. What is my objective even? I don't have an objective. No place with so many crosses could be dangerous. Uh-huh. Sure. Alright, I can't go that way. Oh, hi! Hi, buddy! Places with more than like two or three crosses feels dangerous to me. Yeah, a little bit. Oh, this is a happy place. Who's this? Maybe Father Martin's man. Maybe. He looks nervous. I would like to. <gasps> he would like to kill me. The preacher asked us not to. It would be. You look like you've seen a ghost. We'll give him a little bit of stuff. It's the big dick bros. <laughs> Do you know them, Sammy? <laughs> Am I wrong though? No, you're not. <laughs> yeah, we on the floor. We hiding. <laughs> this is like a pandemic you would. <laughs> Fair enough.
you say don't judge you, but you're judging yourself. Hey, eh, you know. Whatever does it for you. Although these guys are kind of creepy, so I might uh, have slightly higher standards. Slightly. Slightly. Because these people want to kill me. And I'm not into that kink. That's how we greet people on, on the Bunch of Coconuts channel. We we stop our expletives to say hi. Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes they come out full force. As demonstrated by Ari's clip. Alright, how the do I get out of here? I'm guessing I have to go where the big guys are. Hi, big guys. Oh, yeah, they're okay. I mean, guys, can you put some pants on? That'd be helpful. Thank you. This was my room. There's nothing in here that helps me. Hi, friend. Oh, he ugly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This one made a mess out of his room. Oh! <laughs> Hi, Raynar. <laughs> Most men's Tinder pick, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Oh yeah, here, Ari. You, you did. You you missed these guys. Just drink them in. I I'll wait. So I was dreaming my day before dating us became common. Yeah, the good old, the good old big dick bros here to party. Yes, that is that that is the best part of being married. I agree. Cause how else would you know they are male? I mean, fair enough. All right, I clearly need to get through that door. But I don't know how. <laughs> At least they are pooping on each other. <laughs> I mean... Oh, here we go. Yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you could have a hairy chest. That's true. Um, yeah, Sammy, a, 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 we, we played a game called Lust from Beyond not too long ago. A and um, it involves lots of um, kink and fetishes and, and stuff. And one of them was pooping on the other one while they were, you know. You know. Speaking of which, you saw a ton picture of a tumberry that someone made that had Seymour-like chest hair. Oh. 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 <laughs> 2022 is ruined. Yeah, that's fair.
Oh, I gotta go up in that hole, I bet. Oh, hi! Hi, buddy! Wasn't paying attention, I wasn't ready for <laughs> yelling penises. What the fuck is the matter with you? You weren't advised. I wanna do it where you don't know that information. There are people there. Oh, I have a note. I have a note. What's my note? Necromantic. That's what my note is. This has Phasmo vibes. A little bit. Fuck this place. Seriously, just fuck this place. Dying keeps moving lower on the list of the worst things that could happen to me here. Okay. Alright. Alright. Get the lodge, just move towards it. But I don't want why I don't want to come back down here, you ding dong. <laughs> that notice you whenever you leave the house. That's fair. boys. Alright, it's not letting me over there, so I can't go that way. That's fine. Why is there so much blood? Um, because there's so much death? Maybe? I saw a battery. He wants to pick up the battery. There we go. Because spooky. That's where we came up from. We can't go there. Can I walk along the ledge? I can. This seems safe. <coughs> oh, wait. Where did Beady Boys go? God always provides a way. Follow the blood. New objective. Follow the blood trails to the exit. Sure. That seems safe. They've painted arrows in blood. That's so nice of them. You know, nothing better ever happens when doing that, right? Down the drain. All right, it said to follow the blood trail, so I'm going down the drain. Closing doors will behind you will slow your pursuers. Okay. But we can't use that. Oh, 
over the desk. Shut up! Let me think for a minute! Quiet! Quiet! Here we can hide. Oh, this isn't gonna work because he saw me. Burn it. Get away. <laughs> I know I did such a good job, right? I'm such a good hider. <laughs> yeah, not how he shot me either. <laughs> what is it? Only cheating, that's right. Thanks, Raynar. <laughs> All right, dude has dropped back down this hole, and I don't like it. What the puck was that? Um, it was apparently angry anime girl rage. <laughs> We're scaring poor CT over here. Please, we can just call you Puck. Okay, noted. I like you to stay quiet. <laughs> Matrix Revolution. So you're gonna head out when it starts. Okay, Freya. I think I appreciate you being here, though. Follow the blood. We're just gonna hide for a minute. Nothing to see here, buddy. Move along. Can you just open the lock locker next to me? Thank you for opening the locker next to me and not my locker. That's all well good, but how do I get there? I'm stuck on a wall or something. There we go.
boy knocked open a door for me. Thanks, buddy. You know that this is your second time seeing it? Nice. something in the credits and was like, well, let's watch it again now. Eh. That's always a good uh, good thing. Don't see me. Go away. Go away. Don't you dare come in here. Was really well timed. <laughs> Alright, I'm opening that just so I can pause for a second. So I had a wow and a rage at the same time. That that was impressive. That was really well, that was really good, guys. You hadn't really seen or remembered any trailers when you saw Friday, so it was a complete surprise. Nice. Mm -hmm. Glad you enjoyed it. Alright, following the blood. Oh, 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 BD boys are back. <laughs> knock knock hi I see you still haven't found clothes nice to see you boys to right I think I want to go right <clears throat> ballsy boys yes well Sammy was calling them big dick boys so I just uh Toward the free balls. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, in the showers! Of course it's in the showers. Oh, the store needs a key card. Okay. Free Willy and Free Willy too. <laughs> yes, yes, fuck yes. Oh, there's a file in there. Maintenance memo. Proper purge gate maintenance is crucial for Project Wall Rider security. Please refer to Murkoff Corporation Maintenance Manual or seek guidance from a supervisor with property proper security clearance. Thank you. So the only way to get back over there is to go back out the window. OK. 
Okay, I can't go up that one. there but free will and free willy too are no longer here <laughs> okay, that's the one we actually came out of can we go farther no see anything else in there. So I'll look one more time. So I'm guessing I'm going through here. Because of course we are. Oh, there's my card. Get out. Oh, hi, Max. Exit through the showers. Okay. All right, we're escaping through the showers. We got to see you happy. Good. Can I shimmy down the drain pipe? I'd really like to shimmy down the drain pipe. No? It's not that easy? I came out the other side. Is that right? Beady boy. Ah. Why am I locked in here? Nope. Beaten to death by a really naked dude. Oh, I see it. Ah, oh, fudge. Ah, oh, damn it. I see where I need to go. Ah, there we go. Hi, Ice Truck, how are you? Good to see you. Why is it so freaking dark in here? <gasps> oh, 
Ouchies! I don't like this. Not one bit. Oh, come on. Jump up, you ding dong. Can I stay up here? Do I have to go down? Can I just hide up here till he's gone? That'd be nice. I don't have my light on, that's why it's not. Chicken wing. Oh. Oh, that gross. I had an alternate path to the showers. Oh. Ah! Thank you for the biddies. I appreciate it. I'm scared out of my mind. How have you been? Hear it. They can go away now. You're doing good, good. Oh, it's one of the big guys. Oh, he's right there. Gross. Elevator's inactive, of course it is.
Oh, are we back in here again? That one's blocked. Oh, showers. That's where I wanted to go, right? Showers? That's where we came from. That's inactive. See, I don't think I want to go back downstairs. I think I want to stay up here. <coughs> I'm guessing I need to get in there. I can't get to either one of these. Shower door is locked. Oops. Jump on that? I can. Here we go. Nurse. Nurse. <coughs> I'm gonna need some help getting clean. <laughs> nurse. Please call it for a nurse. Oh jeez. No, no, no. <laughs> um, thank you. I think. Darn it, I missed. Oh no, I got it. Witness. We got a file. Hey, Jammy, how are you? Are we playing some creepy stuff here? Obituary form. Rudolph J. Wernicke. Dr. Rudolph J. Wernicke, age 90, passed away doing the work he loved on February 28th, 2009. He was born in 1918 in Munich, Germany, and achieved fame in the mathematic and scientific communities for a paper written with early computing pioneer Alan Turing. 
After a cloudy history with the German war effort, he immigrated to the United States in 1949 with a visa from the State Department. Several decades of government research in Los Alamos led to New Mexico, where Dr. Wernicke retired to pursue landscape photography and care for his cats. He came to Colorado shortly after the turn of the millennium to pursue charitable work for the Murkoff Corporation. A statement from the company calls Dr. Wernicke a true humanitarian with a generous spirit. He leaves no survivors. Oh gosh, this game looks super creepy. Yeah. <laughs> Where all of you shared that now, Ari? <laughs> Nowhere. Uh-huh. I, I see three notifications over there on Discord. Witness! Can I get a witness? No. Okay. We're going up. Yeah, that one's inactive too. Beautiful. Uh-huh. It's so beautiful. What the fuck? Hey, hey, God damn it! I hear you. Yes, Raynor and Ari have been on point all night. That didn't work. Try again. where it came from. Okay, so I have to go up the stairs. Not that far. I can't really go that way. Oh, hi. Hi, friend. <laughs> nope. I'm back down here again. How do I get to that ledge? Ah, oh, damn it. Start over again. Nope. I miss it every time. So how do we...
I don't get it. I gotta go up. Because we've established this much. batteries. I'll take batteries. That's too far to jump. There's nothing there for me. So I have to go this way. Hi. Hi, friend. Get as far over as this cell. So, oh, there's a hole. I'm an idiot. Alright, follow the blood. Alright. Follow the blood. Wall rider, wall rider, okay. Apparently we don't like wall rider. Should have a hug command. Remind me of that later, will you guys? Sure, I'll jump in a hole again. Crouch. This has bad idea written all over it. You called in and requested a COVID test? Oh no, not you too! Spiked minor fever, chills, massive headache, and body aches. No! Hopefully it passes quickly, Raynar. Find a way out of the sewers because of course there's a sewer level! It's not a good horror game if there's no sewer level. Lots, lots, loss of taste. Oh no. Oh, he has my inner runny nose, cough, a sore throat. Okay. Hey, blood. Set this in the way for 100%. Okay, that's good. Hopefully they don't catch it. Found scrawled in pencil on the back of an admittance form. Handwriting matches samples from patient Father Martin Arch Archimbaud. This god is real. What we've mistaken so long for ghost spirits madness. We are only willfully ignorant. The scales on Sol's eyes were fear, and when you see beyond it, you truly see. This is the gift of the wall writer, the gospel of sand. The greatest sin in the world is willful ignorance of God, to receive a revelation and not spread it to the waiting flock. This place to stand in the way of salvation is a sin for which there's no punishment too great. Yeah, he crazy.
No, there was a ladder here. Can I jump? No. can commis commiserate together sounds like hi lie how are you flush the water by turning the two valves okay and we have a map I don't know that it helps me lower junction Oh, I can follow the colored pipes. Okay. Ah! Why is dark spelled with a K and not a C? Because you can't see in the dark <laughs> rebel wedge mat. I love it. <laughs> Thank you for the bits. <sighs> I love a good pun. Alright, let's do the lower junction. No? Okay. Alright. Oh, of course there's a thing. Hoping he doesn't see me. He probably will. Nothing here, buddy. Move along. Oh, he actually moved along. No, there he is. Oh, good to know there was a locker there. Keep going, friend. How the horror and amnesia and soma works, how stealth and thief almost didn't work. Oh, interesting. I've watched so many videos on how the AI in Alien Isolation works that, I mean, I just find it fascinating. try to solve this puzzle one more time and then I think it's time for Coco to go to bed. <laughs> Fucking Ziggy. Yeah, that, that baby shark clip's a really old one. What am I caught on? Thank you. Ah. No! 
Ow! Let me through the damn hole! <laughs> uh, we have to figure out when. Yes, yes, we have to play Overcooked. We'll figure out a time. Was that poop? Yeah, that. Right there, that. Um, well, we are in a sewer, Ari, so there's a 50 50 chance that that is, in fact, poop. Yeah, to get to the yellow one, I have to go through that little hole. <laughs> this one's easy to get to. No. Thanks for the host, Jammy. Hide in here. Yeah, that's alien isolation, we know. Um, dude. I know, right? Oh. Alright. One more for real this time. Yeah, he did, but I don't know. Oh, shoot. He saw me. Poor guts, right? Hoping that if I stay here, he'll go off to the other place, and then I can sneak over to the, the women's room.
Okay. No follow? Apparently not. We win! Although I don't know if it auto saved or not, so I need to go until it's like auto saves. Oh, look, another hanging body. You didn't see one? Yeah, I didn't see it say saving. Oh, that's another cute VV. Look at all the cute VVs. Oh, here's another ladder. Oh, did you see that? He was peeping over the edge. Rude. a way out of the sewers. Saving! <gasps> Alright, it's saved. I saw it that way. I, I saw it that time. Tuesday. Have a good night.